I'm back in the metal. It's time for episode three. I'm about to give you some more of this game for free. So don't play with me, just pray with me because I need all this money to stay with me. If you hear some music in the background, I apologize, but it's Good Friday in Jamaica. So it's gonna be good vibes and a lot of rum and the people gonna go dumb. But this episode is jam packed. And if you pay attention, you're going to be able to make more money than Shaq. If you're serious about wholesaling real estate, then go ahead and scroll into the description, click the link, and get your seven-day free trial. If you don't like it, then delete it. Easy peasy, yellow polka dot pakeasy. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I paid a lot for this course, and I'm giving you this information for free. So all I'm asking you to do is subscribe to my channel for me. It won't cost you anything but it will mean everything. In this episode, you're going to learn how to find the sellers. So let's get right into it. So you're gonna go ahead and go back into PropStream and the filters are pretty similar, but we're gonna tweak a few things. So you go ahead, quick list, bacon lamb. Property. Bacon land. All types residential vacant land and gen resident and and vacant land general. And you go down to MLS. Nope. Years of ownership. Minimum of five years. You want to know that they've owned the property for more than five years because someone that recently purchased a property may have plans to build on that property and resell it themselves ownership type individual and trust a trust is an entity that is used for anonymity so an individual may put their property into a trust so that you cannot figure out who owns that property and then absentee and then you want to go ahead and look at your list. But if your list is very large, another thing that you can do is go to absentee owner location and put out of state, out of county, or local. And that will also narrow your, narrow your um, search results. Because the smaller the list, the less you're going to have to pay if you're outsourcing the skip tracing portion. And then for liens, you can put tax liens, active, has active liens, has active bankruptcies. So I'm going to go ahead and search and see. Hold on, let me put that. Oh, no. What's on there? Gucci, 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 Gucci. Gucci like she got some good, why isn't it? Why you playing with me? Why you playing with me? Don't be playing these games, Fisher. Only one? Right, let me just go to Lehigh Acres instead of using that zip code. Lehigh Acres. Oh, my high is coming up with one. Yeah. I'm looking at my filters again. Individual choice. This is the low market back. Okay. Did I put the wrong thing? MLS. Not on MLS. This is the low. It has a real city. So I click, I click the wrong thing. All right, so 38,000 properties are coming up on my list. So I'm going to definitely have to narrow this now. So let's go back over here. As active means. See what that comes up with. 96. So what I can do is I could create a list out of this. Create unique list. Add to list. Then I'll put Leha. Now I'll create a new one. Now I'll put Lehigh Acres Active Leads. And I'll put today's date March 24th. 
I'll save it. I'm not gonna save this right now. This is a this. I can go through to this. I could create. Once you save that list, it's gonna be right over here in my properties. You can go to the list, and then. You'll see the list of things over here. You go to list and then you'll see all the properties over here. You can click them all over here, export it. Then you can create an Excel file that you can send over to your skip tracer. They'll bring and then They'll just send you back the properties and you have to get on the phone and start smiling and dialing. Another way that you can find, another way that you can find infill lots is by going on the app, downloading the app on your phone. And this will tell you whether or not these are good properties. And this is good because these properties are not what we're looking for. Even though it's within a community, you want to look for properties that are one to two spaces away from uh, existing home that way the sewage and the plumbing will be already in place because if it's more than two spots away then the builder is going to have to extend the sewage and the plumbing or they're going to have to build it and because of that they're going to want it for a cheaper price because it's going to cost them more so these spot this spot right here would be good this spot right here would be good this spot would be good to reach out to those owners see if they're interested in selling this spot would be good both both sides of this house would be good but as you can see this area has a lot of vacant land it's a developing area this is what we're looking for places that have we're looking for places that have a lot of space and opportunity so that we can enhance the community these spots are okay. So if I'm using the app on my phone, I'll go ahead and click on the prop stream app and then I would just search for that zip code that I was looking at. Once I'm in that zip code or that area, I could just type in Lehigh County. I would go ahead and look for the infill lots that I'm interested in and I would heart them. Once I've done that, then I would go back over to the computer Go to my properties. All of the properties that I favorited will show up here under all mobile properties. And then I could create a list. And then I could create a list for this specific day that I've been favoriting the properties. I could create another Excel file, send that over to the script tracer, and get those contacts. Then I'm on the phone smiling and dialing. I see wale wale with that thing thing. All right, that might have been information overload, but if you miss anything, just go ahead and run it back. Stop acting like you don't know how to act. I put this information on here for you, so stop acting like you don't have a clue. And if you started here, you didn't come prepared, so go ahead and check out episode one and two, and you'll be up to speed in a few. And it's about that time, so if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so that you're notified every time I make a new post. Build a foundation so that you're no longer stuck on a plantation. Until next time.